Hey everybody, this is Divyansh Gunjan here. Do you know what would happen if you put an empty glass tumbler in a big wide tumbler of water? Nothing will happen, of course, you may say. And the tumbler may just stand like that. But yeah, I'm not here to just tell you the story of two tumblers. But instead, imagine if in the same way there is a rocket moving up into the space in a vacuum tube the vacuum tube attached to the ground and ending up itself in space and no air is going to enter the tube as it is not open anywhere in the whole biosphere just like no water enters the empty glass tumbler from the surrounding and don't worry the tube is going to be wide enough and tough enough so that it doesn't break due to any reason make sense now just imagine more than 200 such rockets going into space simultaneously from different parts of the world, detaching a thin human carrying space bag. Not just thin, but very very thin, like a thousand times thinner than a garbage bag, each of them carrying more than 20 astronauts at the same time. On the Earth, there are going to be some photon emitting high intensity laser beams transmitting photonic particles to space bags and hence they're powered up into the cosmos traveling at tenth of the speed of light passing the voyager one in less than four days or even a week that is 22 billion kilometers in four days and reaching proxima b an exoplanet in 20 years but that's still fast but wait why are we talking about proxima b here you know, as many astrophysicists, astronomers, and Elon Musk himself have said that Earth is not going to be a safe place forever. To stay, risks annihilation. It could be an asteroid hitting the Earth. It could be a new virus. Climate change, nuclear war. Artificial intelligence gone rogue. We can, and must. Use our curiosity and intelligence to look to the stars. We must do it now before humanity is overtaken by some disaster that we can neither anticipate nor control. So we have to find a new planet to, to survive and delay the Anthropocene, the era of the end of human civilization. We may reach Mars in around 2050, but according to Dr. Stephen Hawking, Proxima B, which is 2.24 light of years away from Earth, a planet in the orbit of the nearest star Proxima Centauri has visual signs of favorable conditions for humans to live. Using the above concept, which sounds easy, yet really sci-fi and strange for the current technology can be used to get there. So why don't we use normal spacecrafts? Because you know that this would require fuel more than the mass of all stars in our Milky Way galaxy, which is obviously not possible. And the Tumblr method to get a rocket into space would save millions of tons of rocket fuel. And Voyager 1, the farthest man-made object sent into space, would take 59,000 years to still reach there. And it doesn't have enough energy to stay connected with us. In about 8 years or something, we may lose contact with the vehicle. This concept can be refined and implemented in the future for spacefaring, I suppose. As we humans never stop innovating. Thank you very much. This is Divyansh Gunjan signing off.